Visorec. That was a damn good screen recorder, and 25,000 of you watched my review. Unfortunately, it was taken down for upgrades very quickly. However, those upgrades are now complete, so let's take a look at Visorec 2.0. Before we jump into this re-review of Visorec, let's revisit how you download it and it's a very simple process. They do have their own website and it is called visorec.com. When you reach this page there is a green download button and you'll be delighted to see that it is no longer greyed out. I know that for several weeks a lot of you were asking when is it coming back? I can't download it. Well now, as of today, it is re-downloadable. Oh no it isn't. After a couple of hours at making this video, Visorec have decided to pull their application once again. What I think they're doing is protecting their certificate. The application is getting more popular, more people are downloading it, and they're worried that Apple are going to find this out and block their certificate, which means the whole application will go down. So for people who've already downloaded it, it still works. For the time being, however, it's not available to new users to download. So you can watch this review if you want to, and hopefully it should be back up and running in the near future. Visorec are trying to work out how to do that. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of the video. Now it does follow the usual rules of being an untrusted enterprise developer application and to fix that go to settings, general, scroll down to profile and device management and the interesting thing from Visorex point of view is that they still seem to be using their own certificate to sign the application. If you've noticed other applications such as Airshow they're always using random certificates but so far as far as I'm aware, Visorec has never been revoked as an application, so that's another reason to give it a try because it seems to be fairly reliable as of now, but as we all know, certificates usually end up getting revoked. But Visorec still looks good from the day it was installed first time out. Okay, let's have a look at the big Achilles heel from the first version of this application and it's still there. You have a 1 minute max saveable length of video unless you watch more adverts. You do that by tapping on the add more button in settings and that will then kick off a video. And I'm afraid these videos have got even worse. They were 5 seconds in length usually in the first version. Now they go up to as far as 30 seconds and you've got to watch the whole advert and once it's finished and you close down the advert you will get a pop-up saying that you have another 30 seconds added to your recording length. So yes, this is a horrible roadblock in this application and I do hope that the developers find a different solution to this because if you wanted to record a 10 minute video, you're going to have to watch five or six minutes worth of adverts and it always resets every time you do a recording and save it to the photo gallery. So that's the big minus. And I would say probably one of the only minuses to Visorec. The rest of the settings are relatively unchanged. We've got record audio from microphone, but the video quality has been upped to 60 frames a second. And we'll have a look at that a little later on in the video. Now I'm going to toddle off and do a screen recording and I'll get back to you in just a minute with the results. When you finish your recording, as soon as you go back into Visorec, it's going to stop the recording and then immediately start video processing. And the reason it does this is because it saves you a job later on. It's re-encoding the video immediately so that you don't get any glitchy playback when you have it in your photos and it just makes things really easy for you. And as soon as it's finished re doing the processing, which can take a little while if you've got a long recording, then you have a fresh, pure video that you can work with. And this is the end result you will have in your photos, a video that you can track immediately. You can see the thumbnails at the bottom. You can scrub it wherever you want and it will run super smooth, even at 60 frames a second. And that is another very big plus point when it comes to Visorec. So I do give it big thumbs up for that. As usual, sticking these screen recordings onto a computer and getting the file properties always reveals some interesting results. First of all, you have no choice in the screen resolution you record at with Visorec and the final results are neither good nor bad, about average. But that frame rate does confirm that Visorec is a big bad liar. I tested it three times at 60 frames per second and every time it outputted at 30 frames a second. Now this is bad in one sense that you don't get the super smooth at 60 frames per second but I haven't seen any screen recording 
to achieve that on a consistent basis. And you are getting a very solid 30 frames a second every time you record, so at least you do have some guarantees. This is a typical Visorec final recording and one of the benefits, although you can't see this, is that I was able to copy the Visorec recording straight onto my computer, put it straight into a video editor, not have to worry about re-encoding, it just worked perfectly first time and that's such a time saver. One thing you should be able to hear however is how spot on the audio sync is. I've not come across a better screen recorder for getting audio synced with the visuals first time perfect every single time. And I think this is another one of those benefits to Visorec re-encoding the video as soon as it finishes recording. So let's listen to just how accurate the audio sync is here. In my opinion, when it comes to video compatibility and audio sync, there is no better screen recorder. Visorec is also one of the few screen recorders that includes a video editor that I might actually use because it has all the functions you want just to get the video up and running. You've got the ability to trim the video, cut it to get rid of the beginning when you start the recording, and rotation because obviously sometimes there are orientation issues when you're doing the screen recording and you could even crop it as well which might be really useful if you want to show a specific part of the screen to do your screen recording so take out the top status bar or the dock even. So in summary there are many things that make me smile about Visorec. Unfortunately the way the adverts work to get more recording time will make you go absolutely crazy and that prevents me from loving Visorec. Fix that and we've got almost the perfect screen recorder. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts on Visorec, so let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Come on, give me some love.